I realized something in between yesterday and today uh, to check on the advancements, right? Because last time my power went out, I lost all of my advancements. And this time it looks like I didn't lose my advancements. Right, they're mostly still here. Oh, I would hate to lose these ones. Levitate up 50 blocks. I didn't know this was an advancement. Shit. Respawn. Ah, okay, whatever. Uh, Brew a potion. What is this? Hot tourist destination. How come I only have, have 2 out of 5? Uh, so I guess I have to get in a bastion. That would be like the 5th. Right? Does the bastion count as a... Because I have the warp forest. The nether wastes. Uh, the soul sand valley is closed. I can go there. The basalt... Oh, there's basalt deltas and... Uh, What's the other one called? No, I only know five vibes, I don't know. Yeah, but the point is, I lost my um, statistics, I think. Uh, and these are the ones I could put back. But I played since yesterday. And I don't know, I'm just... Oh, I didn't lose them. Right? Wither skeleton. Well, I don't remember. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like I. So wait, I thought I checked my statistics and uh, they were set. Ah, whatever. I didn't lose anything. That's nice. Right. I have been cutting down some trees around here. Uh, and I have had guests spawn in here as well. Which is annoying as fuck. There's one around right now. Okay. Alright, so, like you see, they spawn even like right in here for some reason. Maybe there's this hole here that's giving them space, or I don't know. Oh my god. Let's get the other one. But the thing is, I keep killing them and they keep spawning in. Right? Like that's not exactly helpful. Um, and I've realized I made a mistake in using stone around here because the endermen are gonna just take it, right? Like, I don't have any holes in my wall right now, but endermen can take the stone away, which uh, is a bit of a problem for me. And also, check this shit out. Look how many blocks the fucking endermen got. Like, these are all blocks that the endermen drop. So they pick them up when I go in the nether, and when I leave and they despawn, they drop them randomly. I think that's how it works. So there's a bunch of blocks random, randomly around here. And my nether is getting deformed more and more every time I come around here. Unless I stop the enderman from spawning. <sighs> but yeah, oh god, probably up there is such a mess, I don't even want to think about it. Anyway, I'm still... Cutting down trees around here. I decided to leave that one, for example. Uh, these are probably blast explosions. Uh, gas. Gas explosions. Gas blast. Anyway. Um, so I was thinking I should have left some of these trees, like the tallest ones. Because uh, if they're not on the ground, they don't bother me. Like these ones here bother me because I can't see because of them. But the ones that I'll are tall like that they don't bother me they're actually kind of cool uh, and like I can also use them to stop gas from spawning in right but anyways um, let me get out of the nether I'm running out of torches as well I made like uh, two or three stacks of torches and I'm already running out uh, oh, also I need mending on my armor before I fucking destroy it. So, what did I want to take from here? Uh, I'm not sure if I wanted anything. Where do I want to go? Do I want to go home or... Alright, uh, no, wait. I'll go to the mushroom biome, although I don't know if I have uh, books around here, but I should have some books. 
Oh, I saw the monsters dip down for a second. Okay, so there should be some books somewhere in here, right? Chests, iron. Okay, got some books here. Also, I need chests, I think. And I can take the iron with me to my island. Uh, Alright, so which one of these guys had mending? I hope I put him in here so he can reset his trades. Let's get some glasses since, <laughs> since I can. Is there a stray cat around here? No. Alright. Uh, looting. Alright, well. Uh, lure, fortune. Also, I pressed the button that shows me those things. Like, for example, the durability. Wait. What? Uh, Alright, there it is. Uh, 1300 out of. 1561 so I can see that now and I know I wanted to do that at one point and I didn't know how and now I did it by mistake and I'm keeping it um, so uh, how many mendings do I need I guess three because my boots already have mending three should be enough oh I also should have traded uh, after I put my mending on Anyway, let's go to my island and put the mending. Although I'm not gonna put mending on my gold chest, and that's probably gonna get wrecked at some point. I don't even really need it unless there's uh, those guys around, the piglings or whatever they're called. The pig people from the pig nation. And I also wanted to pick up uh, endstone. I don't have much though, but I want to use that instead of uh, regular stone because I don't think Enderman can pick that up. I need the complete list of what uh, Endermen pick up and what they don't. But since I couldn't find it easily, I'm just. I know they don't pick up the endstone, right? Because the end would be a mess. If they did. Alright, so mending. And on these two. Very cheap, very cheap to put mending. Alright. Uh, now I need to repair these. Oh, I should have left the books in there. I wanted to make... Where's my uh, a chakra box? Is that how you make it with the shells and the chest? All right. Um, so I can have a bit more space in my inventory around. Um, I guess I could have made one more, but ah, for now one one should be fine. What else do I want? So I need to take the books back. I'm keeping the glass. Oh, uh, torches. Right, right. Which means these are my old boots. These ones I found in uh, the city. Um, all right. So I have sticks in here and coal, I suppose. I need the diamond fortune pick. A better one. But yeah, all right. These should be enough for a while now. All right, so oh, the endstone as well. This is all of it. Ah, kind of. This is nothing. Like ah, whatever. I need to. I need to go in the end and get like a few shulker boxes of worth of endstone. But to do that on stream is going to be like super boring and I mean <laughs> I don't even feel like doing it because it's boring but and it's going to take some time this endstone doesn't mine fast fast enough uh, also can I put a beacon in there like if I can it's going to be easier right I just put, put the beacon down I get I don't have efficiency 5 as well 
But I get efficiency 5 and a beacon and maybe then I can get a bunch of um, end stone. And like... Mm, I don't know if the beacon works in the end. It probably should. But also there's endermen there. So I'm hoping they can't pick up uh, iron blocks, right? Because if I do want to build a beacon, I don't want it to get fucked by an enderman plopping out a box. When I was there, after I beat the dragon, I tried to make a platform to the gate, I forget what it's called, the warp gate or whatever. It, uh, and uh, I used stone and grass and enderman already started taking it away. Hello, blue. Oh god, fuck am I doing? There's, there's a guest? Oh no, it's one of these guys. Uh, I've been trying to kill them, but I don't feel like fighting it. Man, all right. Uh, so I don't have enough uh, end stone to do shit. But for example, I put like regular stone in here, and I've been covering some holes with regular stone, and Enderman can just like pick it up. English, if you can. I mean, I respond to people speaking in Romanian. You know, because uh, I understand it, but I'd prefer if uh, people were speaking English so everybody could understand. Right, but I personally don't mind if somebody can't or doesn't want to use English. Oh, fuck. Huh, I got ignored. Alright, I'm actually not gonna complain about that. I don't mind. Let's get back to work. <sighs> I had so much progress in my first world, but also this is a good chance for me to get to redo some of the stuff that was uh, sort of useless or badly done the first time around. Okay, so what's in here? There's no lava down there, right? Oh, there kind of is. Right, so I was trying to cover that up, but I realized the stone is not not really effective. Because of uh, the Enderman picking it up. I'm kind of getting rid of them though. There's like, there used to be so many around and now there's only a few. This is also triggering me a bit. I need to kill the lava there. Oh god, I'm always so scared to do this. So, how much do I have to go? I think if I go like this, it should be safe. Right, let me replace this part too. I'm already... <laughs> Consuming uh, so much of this uh, end stone. Like, just if I cover this up here, I'm gonna run out probably. Oh god. And I don't like how this looks at all. Wait, this is... Uh, yeah, this is the place where I uh, made the tunnel down there, right? So, do I want to cover this up here? Hmm. I don't even know. Oh god, yeah, I, I, I do want to cover that hole, but maybe I'll do it down there, you know. And I definitely don't have enough end stone for that. Don't feel, I need to take out the trees as well from here. Oh man. Alright, let me try to kill this. Oh shit. Did he teleport somewhere? Is he coming back? Ah, fuck my life. Why did I go and do that? Is he still triggered? Is he gonna teleport up here and fight me? Or did he die in the lava? Ah, <sighs> so I can't go near the edge anymore because <laughs> I'm too scared of falling in the lava. All right, anyway, back to cutting trees, I suppose. If that guy shows up, I'm gonna fuck him up and then I can move on. If it doesn't show up for a long while, I'm just gonna assume he's dead. Right, so I have another problem that uh, I don't even remember if I spoke about this or not. And there's like two reasons for me to keep the stream short today. First of all, uh, I haven't eaten yet and I'm getting kind of hungry. And the second one is my finger is actually hurting. 
and it's been hurting for a few days ago so it's like my clicking finger which you know is super annoying for me because I can play games and I've been hoping it's gonna pass but it actually hasn't so I probably need to stop gaming for for a while I have been trying to play less but obviously I've played a bit since yesterday and uh, yeah it it just the pain doesn't go away so I need to reduce my gaming time today I plan on not playing anything at all after the stream all right so ah uh, this is getting complicated now because like before I could just take one tree and I knew the like where one tree begins and where it stops and you know because they were separated but now they're kind of uh, into each other and you know I'll start by chopping down one tree and I won't know where to stop and I'm moving on to the next one already so it's sort of annoying to not know but as long as I get all of them it's fine probably although I as I said I do want to leave some here and there maybe I can plant them back it's not a big deal actually I'm leaving the ones that are like also quite simple to get I mean that one doesn't it's not complicated it's not tied up to a bunch of other trees like these ones around here so you know if I do decide to cut it down it's gonna be real easy also I'm probably gonna do that just so I can see how everything looks without any trees and then maybe if I decide to plant some back in right I'll I'll pick where to put them so I'll have trees wherever I want them to be not uh, where they were already where I left them oh shit I didn't repair my tools and stuff I was gonna do that I forgot oh well I also need a way to get up here and some light don't want uh, enderman spawning so I guess that one died right in the lava I don't seem to be having a problem anymore. He didn't teleport back up to fight me. This is where it's getting a bit complicated because there's these holes and the lava around and it's super annoying. Okay, so let me try and get rid of this. I'll do it safely from like this one block away. Okay, so let's see. Is it coming from right here or is it above that? Oh, it was right there. Nice, so I stopped that lava. Oh, actually since I'm here, should I be cutting down all of this? I think I should. Oh, I almost failed that job. Alright. I do need to be careful a bit. Because I don't know if underneath me there's going to be a hole or not. I'm assuming the tree grew on uh, on proper uh, solid ground. Oh fuck off! Oh, and I even missed it. Oh god! Yeah, I I can see how how I missed. Oh man, took that to the face. Oh, I don't have the gold armor. Maybe I'll stick to diamond for a bit. Alright, well, I don't think it destroyed anything, and even if it did, it was part of this tree that I'm cutting down, so it should be fine. Oh, I need to get this here. Ah, fuck. I need to get that as well. There's a tree, like, inside the wall in here. So weird. Oh my god. The fucking block popped back in. So this is where the, the like trunk of the tree would have been and that up there was where the rest of it 
Uh, I was gonna say leaves, but these are like what is it even called? I forget. Wart, wart block. Warts. There were like three warts, I suppose. So yeah, I'm slowly gonna go down while cutting the tree. Or trees, I don't know how many there are. But looks like it's just, well, maybe there are two. I was thinking it's just this one that's bigger, but yeah, it looks like there's one here and one there. Or, I don't know, there's like a bunch of <laughs> wood in other words, uh, uh, a word, three words, whatever they're called. Word, words, fuck, this is hard for me to speak about. But yeah, I'm just gonna cut this one down completely. And do it carefully so that I don't break my neck on a fall or drown in lava. Because that's what you do in lava, you drown, you don't burn up. I prefer to think of it that way, it's less painful. Oh man, last night... Uh, so, first of all, I didn't sleep very well. I had some trouble sleeping, some bad dreams and shit. But before I went to sleep... Uh, for some reason, I was thinking about ways to torture animals in Minecraft. I, I guess I was doing that. I don't know, I just, I just come up with some shit. Like, uh, I'm gonna get really dark later on in the series. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna build some sort of uh, suffering chambers for different animals, I think. Mainly, I'm gonna have... Uh, water right that's boiling or i'm gonna make it look like it's boiling with the uh, soul sand and lava around it right so it's gonna look like <laughs> it's super hot and you know i'm gonna put the uh, stuff in it to boil maybe fish uh or i don't know i'll like figure something out i also want to build a, a chicken army of wilson clones oh all right I need to name Wilson. I think I haven't done it yet. And I do have name tags from fishing, so... I've got no excuse. It's time to... Give Wilson... What he deserves. And I've been taking his eggs. Right? I mean... Ever since... Uh, the beginning. All of the eggs I have are actually f just from him. So, it's gonna be part of the lore. Gonna, oh fuck, I put that so I can go back up. It's gonna be part of the story that uh, is actually cloning himself, right? With the eggs. So I kinda wanna build a clone army out of Wilson. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm definitely building a chicken army. I have been thinking about the... What's it called? The Wall of Signs as well. Uh, where the fuck is my entrance? Because I need a place for that, and I'm gonna start with the emerald wall on my main island, and then make different walls in different locations as I always planned. Uh, so, the fuck is the sound? Is there a fucking enderman around here? Do I have to go murdering? Alright, here I go, murdering again. Where is he? Oh, it's in the trees, never mind. Fucking gonna ignore that. Alright, so there's just one person for now that's bought the Minecraft sign. But there's gonna be more soon. And I need to write that shit down as well. Because if I lose the world, I wanna remember the names. I have to write on my next world when I start making them signs again. Uh, but yeah, for now it's not too complicated. It's just my friend Steven, who I have to put uh, his Twitch username on the sign for. And if I remember right, there was uh, somebody called Suffer, uh, who was gonna buy a, a Minecraft sign. Oh! Oh, there he is! He's out of the lava! Oh, fuck off. 
Okay, blocking this shit is not work alpha. Oh my god, that hit the blast explosion as well. Whatever it's called, the cannonball, the thing he fires at you. Uh, I was checking if I hit any of the big men around. This guy's gonna attack me. I don't have gold on. Never mind. I'm safe now. Alright, so I'm getting uh, quite a bit of um, gunpowder for for these cast kills. Which I don't really have any, but since I have the elytra, you know, I kind of need it. I wanted to make a creeper farm, but uh, I don't know, I'm just lazy. I'm gonna get it done at one point. Did the blast destroy my torches or did I not place enough light around here? Also, shouldn't there be more fire? Did it just go out? Eh, nah, who cares. Right, what was I doing here? Oh, cutting down tree. Alright. Uh, so, maybe I should go and put down uh, the Minecraft sign right now. Uh, or actually, I don't know if I'm gonna do it right now. Because I need to check the the video and make sure of the spelling and stuff and I think I wrote first first and then butchfall which is the uh, stream uh, user that he was using right so every every sign is gonna have a number on it it's gonna be like first second third fourth inth. it's gonna be complicated when there's like the thousand sign but I guess people do give importance to meanings right like obviously first is important and then there's milestones like when you reach a thousand subs for example I'm I'm just saying like when you reach a thousand signs it's a milestone you know maybe they're gonna be different colors right I could make the first one a uh, special color and then the milestone ones as well stuff like that all right so i'll have to think about it for a bit although making them different colors kind of uh uh is gonna get in the way of i wanted to make them all white right so they would go they would go okay uh, in contrast with the background blocks that i put them on and when i'm saying white i mean the spruce uh spruce wood signs right because those are working fine on most blocks i would assume maybe they wouldn't work on quartz but i wasn't planning on using quartz so oh god there's a hole i need to be careful around holes don't want to fall in randomly Right, so I'll do this side because... Oh, never mind. I was thinking it's towards the... The giant hole there, but I kind of covered it up around a bit, so... Should be fine. Can I get all of this? No, it goes all the way to the ground. I'm gonna leave the glowstone as well. For now. Don't feel like... Bothering with that. But I am getting bored of uh, cutting down trees, honestly. Although there's like nothing too interesting I could do right now. If I wanted to build, I would need uh, end stone, way more end stone. Oh. I ended up falling anyway. See, no matter how careful I want to be, I'm still gonna do some dumb shit and eventually die. This is what worries me the most, no matter how cool I make the world. Since I'm playing hardcore, I know for sure I'm gonna die at one point. Hopefully it's gonna be like years from now, but... Since last time I, I lasted like one month, I don't know what to expect. I can't say it's gonna be years from now, right? Like, I can, I can say I'll probably survive a month. But even that is not certain. Although, I don't know. 
I guess that's what makes hardcore interesting. Somebody pointed out hardcore uh, gives you like the real thrill when uh, you know if you die or end uh, your world ends. Honestly, I I'm not thinking about it that way too much, but it's true. I'm I'm scared shitless sometimes. And in general, I'm super afraid of death in Minecraft. Right, because I'm hardcore. Uh, and I wish I was more like aggressive with my gameplay, but I don't like the idea of taking risks just for show. If I didn't care too much about the world, I, I would like do crazy shit. The world I abandoned, the world I stopped planning, playing, um, like I would have done anything in that, no, no problem. Because I just didn't care. Alright, so I'll probably not die if I fall in there. I can use regular stone here. Do I want to cut down this tree? Also, what's with the hole in here? Ah, I don't fucking like it. Let me block this off a bit. Right, this should make it safer. I think. You never know how I'm gonna like randomly run in there and throw myself off the <laughs> the that hole, right? But now I can't. All right, so that um, Enderman that was on fire, did it die? Did, like it was teleporting around and shit, but is it gone? I saw it burn and teleport, but <laughs> I didn't see it die, so I don't know what to think of that. I don't want to get spooked by. Uh, the random enderman triggering and teleporting to attack me. I could still do that just by looking at them randomly. I did it yesterday, I might do it again today. Uh, and it's so sad that I, I kind of wanted to go back down there and build that platform of end stone. But I can't because I'm... I'm too worried about uh, the Enderman attack. And I do need to put some light in there as well to get rid of the spawning Enderman. Mm, inventory full already, dude. What the fuck is happening? Alright, I, I brought this shulker box and I'm not even using it, honestly. Uh, I'm just not used to it, so I'll leave it in here. I don't care. I'll make my uh, trips back back here and leave everything in the chest. Alright, uh, I should leave the glass in here and the shulker box. And did I fill up this chest? Jeez. God, they are annoying, like the sounds they make. Hearing them triggers me. Because I know they're picking up blocks and fucking up the scenery. Alright, so. Yeah, there's a hole here. Oh, fuck. This is not good. I don't like this. But see, they could still come. Like, an Enderman could still come and pick up one of these blocks and make a hole. That would make me fall in the lava. Falling in the lava is the, like, one way I don't want to die. If I die doing stupid shit, like fighting or whatever, it's fine. I mean, it's that's the thing. I don't think it's that stupid if you die fighting or... Actually, now that I think about it, I did die from just falling last time. Like, I fell in a hole full of monsters that I didn't fight. And it was stupid of me to just fall and die there. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I was thinking, like, as long as it's not a death from falling, I don't mind it. But last time I died, it was from falling, I just realized. Yeah, so I guess like the main, this is what bothers me, okay? The main problem, like the the most dangerous <laughs> part of Minecraft is just like falling in some hole. Which I don't like. I wish like it's something you could avoid, but it's not. You always have to take that risk of falling somewhere when you're building something. 
uh, in general like especially if i'm building in the nether i have to go around some like dangerous areas that definitely would kill me if i fall in and that bothers me like if it was a question of like taking a fight then yeah sure it would be like me assuming the risk of of fighting the mobs and then dying i guess it's me assuming the risk of falling somewhere when i try to build but it just feels different i don't know why i feel like a death by combat is more honorable i have the mental of fucking warriors <laughs> for some reason an honorable death right by by the sword not by fucking height maybe i'm just a viking at heart or i don't know who who were the warriors that were thinking like that maybe it's just from world of warcraft i don't know why i'm like taking out grass right now i kind of got distracted I have so many trees to cut around here. Should I go get these in the middle then? Like those ones here, I really need to get out of the way so I can build. Right here is where I want. I want to build the, a sort of endstone room in here that will never get destroyed by Enderman. I don't have enough endstone for that. And also I'm scared of the Enderman from, from the other side. And to go kill them and I need to make sure that one guy wasn't gonna be popping back isn't gonna be popping back oh fuck no 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 don't shoot oh god every time I miss an arrow on a ghast I keep thinking what if I hit uh, what if I hit the pigment in the distance and then I'm getting uh, you know swamped I still have gold on me. Alright. Alright, just checking. I also, should I go in? Okay, I'm gonna go in the bastion for a bit. Uh, I just want to check something real quick in the bastion here. Problem is, uh, I know it didn't have an entrance, right? I just made one somewhere. But could I this time find the entrance? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, it doesn't look like it has one. But I'm pretty sure there was an entrance somewhere. Nah. Fuck. Unlucky. Oh, it's here. Alright. Uh... So, there should be some of those uh, brutes around that I have to fight. Oh, right, they were stuck in there, I think. Anyway, I want to loot these real quick. Uh, oh, silk touch. I could make it the fortune uh, one. Banner. Fuck, this is not what I was looking for, honestly. Yeah, I guess I forgot what was in here. But, uh, you know, getting these things is not that bad. Right, so the, the reason I wanted to check those chests was because I know in these... Um, in these bastions, there's... Uh, I mean, in these chests, there's those spectral arrows or whatever the fuck they're called. And I just realized that if I have one and I use infinity, I can use it forever and I'm not even sure what it does. I should... Yeah, let me Google. Let me Google Minecraft. Minecraft Spectral Arrow. Is that what it's called? There's um, there's more than Spectral Arrow. There's like uh, tipped arrows with... You know, different kind of stuff. And I don't know what each one does. I know there's a poison one. I know there's a, like... Uh, arrow splashing. Tipped arrow. Uncraftable tipped arrow. <laughs> arrow. Uh, swiftness, arrow of swiftness, arrow of regeneration, what the fuck, arrow of fire resistance. So it's based on uh, brewing, right? You make arrows, arrow of invisibility, of luck. How does that work? 
That sounds cool. Arrow slow falling. How do you shoot yourself though with them? I mean, I guess they're made to shoot other stuff. Um, an arrow serves what, uh, as ammunition, but I need specifically like w spectral arrow. What does it do? A spectral arrow comforts the glowing status effect for 10 seconds. Oh! Okay, that's interesting. So it makes it so that you see stuff through the walls, like the mobs you hit. Oh, that's cool. Um, if I remember, there was somebody doing that without the arrows. Like they were turning on some sort of mod. And the mobs would be shown through the walls. And I thought it's cool, but... I guess it's a cheat, like, I wish it was a feature, you know, that would allow you to do that. Uh, anyway, well, now I know what the spectral arrow does, and I do kind of want one. I just don't want to go deeper into that bastion, not right now anyway, I'm not even sure if there's one in there. I'll ignore that ghast because it's far away. Uh, okay, so... What was I saying I'm gonna do? Cut these trees down or just something else? I don't remember. I guess I have to get these trees here, right? Because they're in the way of everything. So, but where should I start? All right. Uh, they're kind of meeting up here. I want to like be able to separate them a bit, but yeah, whatever. So everything from this point, like all of those, in front of me are going down even though they're kind of meeting here it's also complicated because uh, for example these ones here at some point they go forward I mean upward uh, right like that one is huge it goes all the way there and they're gonna connect to the ones on the second floor but I think I'm gonna wanna cut down the ones on the second floor as well Oh fuck, this is not what I wanted to do. Where were the ones I was cutting down? Wait, was it here? Fuck, I don't... Oh, there it is. Alright, around here. So I'll get the corner here to just make them not be connected anymore. And then cut this bunch of trees right here. I also need to spend more time on the second floor. Uh, I need to, because I already know kind of the layout in here. And I need to get used to what's up there, like where's the holes that are dangerous and I should cover up and, uh, you know, see how many trees are around, how much space there is. Just like get the general layout of the place so I can think better about how I'm building the walls around. I'm gonna have walls around on the second level as well. God, I'm gonna need so many blocks. Just, uh, I don't want to think about it. I'm gonna have to like spend one whole day getting endstone, something like that. I'm gonna need like shocker boxes full of endstone. Because, so, what I'm thinking is, I want to make this whole place uh, surrounded in a uh, and stone or end bricks right like the walls uh, hold on fuck already inventory full oh yeah because I picked up those stuff so like these walls here I'm gonna make them out of end stone and uh, obviously less glass maybe I could use glass panels because I don't know if endermen pick up glass blocks but I know they don't pick up the panels so glass panels uh, and stone all the way around and the roof and the like the ceiling and the floor both out of end stone or end stone bricks which is like thousands of blocks like all this space also maybe like uh, get more more of these netherrack layers out possibly but still I'm gonna I'm gonna put a bunch of uh, end stone in here everything that's like red and uh, whatever this color is blue green whatever <laughs> bluish green 
Uh, all of this is gonna turn white, right? And I'm gonna tear down my tunnel once it's safe in here. But that's gonna take such a long time. And I'm hopefully not gonna die in the meantime. Alright, um, let me store away some of this stuff. I need to change one of these into a fortune pickaxe, but I'm gonna forget about them if I leave them here. Alright, um, I remember when I made my silk touch pick, it was a bit of a pain. Why don't I have a good enough memory to know I could just come in the nether and pick, pick a silk uh, touch? pickaxe from there although I still need the diamond pickaxe uh, for coming in the nether so I guess at that point it's whatever anyways let me finish cutting down those trees I really need to get this and I was thinking of like naming my uh, my bases and stuff um, different like I don't know names right uh, so I wasn't sure, like, I'm not sure about most of them, but for this one I came up with something. Like, if I do the end stone like I want it, I was thinking of calling this the fang, but just because it's white, right, it's, but, eh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a cool enough name, but that's what I came up with. I was thinking about, you know, naming the bases or the zones. And I was thinking since this one is white, something related to teeth. <laughs> That's how it started. That's how I got to the fang, right? I was thinking like teeth are white and it's going to look like a tooth. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what was going through my head, I swear. But I came up with uh, naming it the fang. So that's what I'm going to call the area here, probably. Right, and then what uh, What other places need names? Right, the, the stronghold already has a name. It's the stronghold. The nether fortresses... They have... I guess I have two nether fortresses, right? Uh, maybe I'll name every every place, even the stronghold. Because it's, it's like a sort of special stronghold since it's underwater. I'll have to come up with a name for it. The fortresses, one of them is definitely going to be the, like the wither farm. The the one that didn't have uh, nether warts. That one's going to be the wither farm. Uh, maybe I'm going to call it the skull farm, right? Or something like that. Uh, what about my island? My island doesn't have shit on it. I don't know what I would call it yet. Uh, what's, what's the name of your main base? Like... I'm trying to think of some like cool main base name, but you know, like a reference for some uh, movie or some shit, but uh, I can't come up with anything. Maybe I'll just call it the island. It's not that bad. Although it's, eh, it's kind of, I don't know, too simple. I need to make it more complicated. <laughs> uh, yeah, it depends. If I put something on it, maybe that will inspire me. You know, once I get... Oh, I could leave this this tree there, right? Ah, never mind. It looks like shit. I'm gonna take it down. Um, Alright, and I have the mushroom fields as well that they're gonna need a name. Which I don't think is going to be related to mushrooms, actually. <laughs> if I'm honest. The monument is going to need the name. Which again, I don't really know. Uh, Atlantic <laughs> City? I, I guess it's not the city, so... Fuck. Something underwater related, right? Like, it's got to be... Uh, but yeah. What else needs a name in my world? So the mushroom fields, I'm going to name them something related to the villagers, right? Maybe I'm going to call it, uh, I don't know the name of it yet, but it's going to be like a kingdom, right? So that's going to be where the people are, peasant lands, something like that, peasant, no, no, 
Uh, peasants don't have kingdoms, but you get the idea, right? It's gonna be a kingdom of some sorts in in there. Hmm. Anyway, I hope people are gonna like my naming sense. Although it's like super childish, calling this the Fang, <laughs> right? And uh, I have I have already picked out some names for for animals. Like if I get the dog, uh, I'm gonna call him Hollow. And if I'm gonna get the horse, I'm gonna call him Prometheus. I think. So. Yeah, although these are all the names I come up with so far. I need to think of more names. For example, I wanna I wanna get a pet slime. Oh god, where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Uh I wanna get a pet slime at some point. I have no idea what I'm gonna call that. I think I had one uh, uh like the small one that can damage you. Oh god. Missed. Oh shit, there's two of them. Alright, got one. Can I get the other one? Missed again. Alright, so I think I had a pet slime called Jimmy or something. I kind of like the, the ring it had, Jimmy Slime. Uh, or something, I don't even fucking remember. I might call it Jimmy if I have a small... Is that like insulting to people called Jimmy? Are there people called Jimmy or is it James? There's got to be people who actually have the name Jimmy, not James. Or anyway, I don't know. I've been thinking about this though, like uh, when you name an animal, right? And uh, it's the name of a person. What do people think about that? Is it weird? Is it okay? I think it's kind of weird. I mean, I I don't really care about it, but I think people would think it's weird to have a person name on a animal. I know that there was a problem with dog names. My naming sense for dogs in real life was just giving the regular person names. So yeah, I always feel like people would think it's weird because there are dog names. I I suppose. Or people try to name their dogs something that gives away the fact that they're a dog. And that's what they're talking about. Not always though, but in general. How did I get to talking about fucking dogs and shit? Naming dogs in real life. I guess I, I mean, I don't mind that I was talking about it. I'm just like drifting off from Minecraft. Oh, I forgot to leave these in here but uh, I don't know <laughs> like I don't have anything to talk about uh, about Minecraft right now since I'm just like cutting down trees it's not like I'm doing something that I can explain exactly what I'm doing I'm just clearing out the forest that's <laughs> as complicated as it gets in terms of discussing what I'm doing right now so yeah, and I've already like spoken about the, my plans for a base in here, so that option is gone too. I do think I don't want to do dangerous stuff for a long time if I can avoid it. Like bastions, fuck no, that's where I died last time. I'm not, I'm not going close. Oh god, is this the motherfucker that I have to fight? Or is he not triggered on me? He isn't. How did he get... So there's a place somewhere that burns them, right? Because they don't just fall in the lava. They just walk somewhere where the lava triggers them and they start teleporting and freaking me out. I need to find that place. Alright, I'm almost done with these trees. I can also end the stream soon because I've been playing for about one hour and as I said I want to get that like minimum of one hour stream and since my hand is hurting 
I don't want to make it worse by just playing non-stop. But I do want to do some things before I uh, end. I want to finish these trees here to clear. And I want to move up in the world. I'm kidding. I want to move up uh, to the second floor and look around, basically see what it's like. Oh god, I don't like the sound of the gas. Oh fuck. Yeah, I fucking knew it. And I didn't get it. I'm gonna go kill it because it's gonna be annoying for the rest of the time I'm spent. Where the fuck? Alright. Let me grab the drops real quick. Alright. Oh, by the way, can I... Uh, I went into the bastion, so I wanted to check where was the... The achievement... Oh, fuck. This one. Oh, it's not three out. So what are the, like, five biomes? Where, why doesn't it say? Is the warp forest, the nether waste, the basalt delta, the, the valley, whatever it's called. Uh, soul sand valleys. What am I missing? Oh, the crimson forest? Did I count that one? Alright, so... So I need the crimson forest, the basalt delta. I have only the warped... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I have only the warp forest and the um, nether waste. And the crimson forest is right there. Uh, the basil delta is uh, the way of the fortress with nether wards. And which one would be left? The, sh uh, the soul sand valley that's at the first uh, nether fortress, the one without the nether wards. I still didn't pick up nether wards. I should go get some. I want to start a farm in the nether. And I can plant crops. But I can plant nether wards. And I can bring animals in here. And grass. But I'm afraid of uh, endermen stealing my grass away. But I could move animals. I, I sort of like the ideas of having animals in here. I'm definitely going to bring those mushroom cows in here. And they're going to be like the... You know evil cows I guess not evil but they're gonna be like the hell cows that I keep in the nether because nether is basically a sort of hell right also uh, if I take them out of the mushroom biome do they revert to normal at I don't think so if I remember right you could bring home um, cows from the mushroom biome from uh, like a long way and they would still be mushroom cows unless you shear them which I didn't even know you could do I didn't realize you could shear cows to make them normal the mushroom ones but now I know anyways uh, that's the thing about Minecraft you always learn how stuff works I don't like this hole can I fill it up with these blocks I mean not these two but like this Ah, sort of. Sort of. Alright. So I, I got the trees that I wanted. Uh, it's time for me to go up to the second floor for a bit. Oh god. Oh why? Please don't notice. Please don't notice me, senpai. <laughs> kind of weird. It's kind of like exactly the opposite. Oh. What the fuck? Where did my fucking arrow go, dude? It passed right through it. Anyway, as long as I don't hit some random shit on the other side of the... Wherever the arrow lands. Oh, God. I... I, I don't like not seeing where the arrow lands. I feel like it's gonna land on top of a fucking pigman and trigger them all. Or on a fucking enderman, which is... I don't know. It's not worst, but it's still pretty bad, right? Because they're gonna trigger and try to kill me. 
Right, I don't like this. I need some stairs up here that are better. Oh, the, I use stone there. Right, but I can... Can I get through? Ah, I can get up through here. I guess I should actually use this so the endermen don't pick it up. If they, if they take my stones that I've been placing to get up here and they throw them away randomly in the nether, that's gonna trigger me more than them throwing random nether blocks around. Alright, so... Uh, time to make a bunch of light in here. Because uh, I see there's a bunch of endermen, right? And I think the light will stop them, probably. That's how that's how that works, right? Oh, look at all these! Jesus fuck! Look at oh no 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 no! Please don't! Please don't! Please don't! Oh fuck! Oh, did I get? I didn't. What happens if I reflect one of those blasts and the reflected blast is gonna hit? something fuck I don't like being here I absolutely don't like being here am I still above my yeah I'm still above my shit because I recognize the hole all right so let's get uh, actually I don't need oh my god look at them all these blocks that have the fucking mycelium or whatever the fuck it's called what is it nylium all these blocks are brought here by fucking endermen that are roaming around with them. Right, so is this part of... Yeah, it is part of my roof. Right, so it goes like this. Alright, alright. So all of this land is mine. I feel like in Lion King. All the light touches is yours, Simba. Do you get copyright uh, or like copyright uh, <laughs> for the, like just saying quotes from shit, like movies and stuff? I know you can't sing, right? Like the songs that are copyrighted. What about quoting movies? Is that a no-no for Twitch? If so, I just fucked up. Anyways. Uh, Right, so I need to claim my territory with torches, right? Oh my god, and these blocks are triggering me so much. Ah, okay, so this is all mine now. And I also... I guess... Uh, I need to make sure I get the, the wall going, right? So I remember what I want to do. I mean... This is not the best, but it has to be something like this, right? So, mm, and then up there, what the fuck? There's lights on the roof above the torches, that's kind of cool. Like you could see the bright spots. Anyway, uh, so I guess the Enderman won't pick up these blocks. And then I'm gonna put like glass above these blocks and... Ah, oh, fuck. No, no, stop. That was kind of cool. Alright. Uh, and yeah, more pillars in here to stop spawning the gas. And, you know, another wall, basically. Like, the one I have below, I'm gonna have another one up here. Let me pick up these blocks. Well, this regular one looks like an enderman dropped it as well. I don't know about that one, probably an Enderman. Uh, these are definitely the work of Enderman. Look at this. What the fuck is this? That guy just put a block in there to climb, didn't he? I think I saw it. Like he put that block in there. And he climbed on it. Kinda cool. Ah shit. Ah no. No, no, no. No, 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 please don't fucking do this to me. Ah. <sighs> okay. Where the fuck is he? There he is. Come 
Come over here. He was on this side, right? What the fuck is going on, man? Why isn't he coming back? Ah, I'm so annoyed by that. I want to kill him and get rid of the problem. Like, I want to know I'm not in danger anymore. Oh, it's... It's not this one. Where the fuck? Alright. Well, I didn't get much of a feel about the layout. Oh. There he is. Ah, fuck off. Not again. Dude, I thought I'm gonna be finally able to kill him and fucking teleport it away. Anyway, let's make more light around here. Till he decides to return. And fuck with me some more. Oh, I need to get light down there as well. Oh. Alright, fuck, finally. Got rid of... Ah, so I guess if this one fucking teleported away and still had aggro on me, the other one might be alive. I do want these things, I think. I wanna pick these up. I don't know what they're called, but I want them. Okay. So, let me get in here. And make more light everywhere. Ooh, magma blocks. That's cool. I'll get some. For the collection. Alright. This is a cool cave, I suppose. Yeah, so I should be finishing up soon. Uh, once I run uh, out of torches. Alright, so yeah, this is basically the second level with a giant hole in the middle that I'm not sure if I want to cover this. Like, do I want a roof up there or not? But I definitely want exterior walls that go around like all the way over there like that. Hopefully it's gonna be like cool and a really big area I also want to do some work on a map sometime soon maybe that's what I should have done because uh, it wouldn't require too much clicking uh, to like fly around I suppose and uh, you know discover the map but whatever I mean Cutting down trees wasn't so bad either. Alright, so how come I didn't put torches down in here? Because I passed like right around here. Man, so many trees. So many trees to cut down. This is gonna take forever. And I'm out of torches. Alright, and the music is getting super intense. What the fuck? Wait a second. Uh. This is out of my territory, right? Like, because back here I have this giant hole that stops me, like, on the first floor. That that literally stops me from going this way, I think. Yeah, so this is where I... Oh no, I'm uh, I'm past... Alright, I know where I am. The, the bastion is there, I'm way past my territory. It's not the hole that stops me, it's the... Another rack that goes up right here. It's this hill. The hill on the right here that stops me. Anyways. Yeah, well, I got a bunch of trees today and I talked about how I want this place to look, so... I guess I did my part. That's what I feel like. So yeah, I'm gonna stop the stream here and I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning at 9am GMT.